welcome to the agricultural series. I'll be taking, I'm Shigari Timothy, I'll be taking you agricultural, agricultural science. This is agricultural science for SS1, just as we are having here. In the first place, I would like to inform you about what is expected of you to learn in SS1, which is listed in the table below based on the NED curriculum. Now, let's look at what we are having here. The first thing that we are having here uh, is a basic concept. Uh, and the topics under the basic concept are the first topic is the meaning and importance of agriculture. The second one is uh, the problems of agricultural development and possible solutions. Then the third topic under that uh, team is uh, meaning and differences of subsistence and commercial agriculture. Then the fourth topic we'll be considering is the role of government in agricultural development. The fifth topic is the role of non-government organization in agri agricultural development. And the last topic, which is the sixth topic, under the basic concept uh, is uh, agricultural law and reforms. Then the second uh, team, which is agricultural ecology. The first topic under it is uh, we are having the meaning and importance of agricultural ecology. Then the second one is land and its uses. The third topic is factors affecting land availability for agricultural purposes. Then the fourth topic is agro-allied industries and relationship between agriculture and industry. The fifth topic that we, have, we are going to treat is uh, environmental factors affecting agricultural production. And the sixth topic will be rock formation. The seventh topic will be soil formation and profile development. And the eighth topic that is expected of us to learn under agricultural ecology which is the last topic under agricultural ecology, is types, uh, composition, and properties of soil. And with that, we'll be moving to the third, third um, team, which is agricultural engineering and mechanization. Uh, and the first topic we'll be actually dealing with is simple farm tools, uses, and maintenance. The second topic will be farm machinery and implement. The third topic will be maintenance practices and precautionary measures. The fourth topic will be problems of agricultural mechanization, while the fifth topic under agricultural engineering and mechanization will be prospects of agricultural mechanization, while the last topic, which is the sixth topic, is uh, the sources of farm power. And then uh, we'll now be going to the last theme for SS1, which is crop production. Then uh, the topics under here will, will that will be treating will be classification of crops, second topic, cost boundary of selected crops, and the last topic, which will be the last topic for SS1, will be pastures and forage crops. Now we'll be starting with introduction, just as we are having here. In the ancient time, man was known as food gatherer, but as population starts to increase geometric, in geometric progression, and that is the multiples man had to cultivate and rear animals. That is when uh, man actually starts to start his life, man was known to go into the world, gather fruits uh, with his hand, pick um, some other fruits with his hand, and then also man actually was using club in killing animals to eat. That is, after he had been able to use his club to kill an animal, then he would then use um, stones, two stones, strike it against each other to make fire, and then uh, and then make fire to roast the meat or roast anything you want to roast and eat. But as population grows, as population increases, a uh, man actually was finding it difficult to find something to eat. And that's the reason why man has to go into the cultivation and rearing of animals. It is the cultivation and rearing of animals that brought about the story, uh, or the story of the science or art of agriculture, in order as to meet the food requirements of the human race. And we can define agriculture as uh, agriculture can be defined as the art, science, and business of rearing of animals the cultivation of crops for the use of human beings, the processing and the marketing of animals and crops. It does not only end with the rearing, and, uh, rearing of animals and cultivation of crops, 
but it extends to the processing and marketing of the animals and crop, that is the agricultural produce. Then branches of agricultural science. We have different branches. Agriculture is composed of five. Uh, we have the major branches and then we have the subsequent one. I, uh, agronomy is the first one and that has to do to deal with uh, soil management and growing of crops. Then we have horticulture, just as we can see the picture there. Um, horticulture deals with the cultivation of fruits, vegetables and ornamental crops. Then we have animal science. Uh, animal science basically the breeding and caring of animals for specific purposes such as meat, um, milk, for and then leather. That is the leather being used in making of uh, of our shoes, of our bags, and the uh, and the rest. And then for for making of clothes. And then we have agri economics. This has to do with uh, business. Uh, has to do with the business, the marketing, and then the how the day-to-day -day activities of uh, agricultural activities have been done. Then we have um, agricultural engineering, which involves the application of engineering principles to agriculture. It, de it also deals with the develop developing new system and uh, practices to address problems facing agriculture. This agricultural engineering actually encompasses uh, all of the engineering principles in the agricultural industry, in the sense that it is the agric engineer on the farm, that is all in, in the in agricultural industry has to do he is the one in charge of maybe the lightning or the construction of the farm or of the farm stage or of anything, any engineering, anything that has to do with engineering, it is the agricultural engineering or all the agricultural engineers that has to do with that. Then we have plant breeding and genetics. Now, for us to improve the breeds of the crops that we are having or the breeds of the animals, uh, plant breeding and genetics has to deal with that. That is, for us to have uh, cultivars that, um, that uh, matures on time and then have high yield. It is plant breeding and genetics that actually deals with that. And for us to have breeds of, you know, if we should compare uh, local chickens with uh, agric chickens, uh, that is broilers, they are quite different. But they are both birds. They are both birds that we rear. It is the plant breeding and genetics that actually deals with the genetics of these animals to, for us to have better yield. Then we have entomology, we have forestry and ecotourism, and then we have agricultural extension and education. It is this agricultural extension and education that actually takes the information from the research centers to the farmers on the farm, right on the farm, and then explain to them what they ought to know, the new improvement, the new terminologies, the new things that, has been, that can help in increasing the yield of agriculture. Without, uh, and these are fields where one can actually um, venture into, that is, as a student, as a uh, student that wants to study in a higher institution, these are areas where you can just find yourself and then make it in life. Then we now go to the impact of agriculture. The first impact is production of food. We all need food to survive. Agriculture provides food for the proper growth and Healthy development of man, e.g., the rice we eat. We all eat rice. And then, uh, maize, yam, vegetables, fruits, fish, meat, make uh, examples of food that uh, have been, is being provided through agriculture. I don't know if there have been artificial ways of pro producing food. I don't know. It's only agriculture that, actually, eh, that produce the food that we actually eat. Then, two, provision of raw materials. Agriculture provides raw material needs such as cocoa that we use, that's being used in making of our bombita, of our uh, milu. Then we have maize, 
being used in production of conflicts. Then we have cotton being used in the production of our, of our cloth. Then we have latex being used in the production of rubber materials. Then we have eyes and skin. Uh, these are raw materials being used in the production of our bags, of our sandals, of our shoes. And then we have um, tobacco being used in the production of cigarettes. We have timber being used in the production of our doors. And then in the, in the roofing of our houses. And then in the construction of, of our furniture. Then we have cassava. We have wheat. Wheat is being used in the production of our bread, of our semolina, of uh, apart from semolina, even of our indomie, yeah, all this spaghetti that we eat is wheat we use in producing them. That is, all these raw materials are, are being produced by agriculture and then for the agro allied industries to produce different types of finished products. Just have. I've mentioned and listed the other time. Then provision of employment. Agriculture provides employment for about 70 to 75% of the working population.